Well, Jason, that was an excellent performance. The, the house was packed and everyone had a really good time and obviously liked you. I think it was very successful. But what do you regard as a successful performance and what messages do you really want to get through to your audience apart from enjoyment, of course? Well, to me, a, a successful performance is, um, I, think, I think, planting a seed in a person's mind. Um, that, that seed that will grow to become open-mindedness. That's really why I do what I do is to get people to become more open-minded, not just to my own culture as a First Nations person, but to all cultures, to keep their minds open, to accept new things. I always hear this word being thrown around called tolerance. I don't, I don't really like that word. Tolerance means you put up with something the way I see it. I prefer acceptance. You know, I prefer that, and that's what I try and do. I, I, I make every effort to promote myself as positively as I possibly can, and not only that, my people as positively as I possibly can, and that's what I try and do. That is, that is my effort, that is, I guess, my goal that I try and accomplish. Well, Jason, you, you talk about, in your performance, about the richness of all Aboriginal cultures, including your own Cree heritage. What would you like to see young people who, young native people, or well, young native people who are from urban centers and removed both from nature and their own Aboriginal culture, what would they gain from getting in touch with Aboriginal culture and how would they do that other than performances like your own? That, that's a really, really difficult question because in urban centers, resources are limited. What I'd really like to see is to have more people brought in, come and do things such as this, or maybe have young people brought out to, to the reserve, to the First Nations, and 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 have exchange and learn these things. Um, in, in in urban centers, I, I feel I feel sorry for some of these young people because they grew up not not knowing that, and it's through no fault of their own. It's just the circumstances that they're born into, or the circumstances that they that they. It's just just what it is is that they don't, they don't recognize, they don't understand you know, who they are as First Nations people. That might be, I might be going a little too far in saying that, but for the most part, if you don't understand your language, then that's, that has a lot to do with it. And that's one of the things I really like to see is a more concerted effort at trying to preserve our language as Crees, as Sotos, as Lakotas, as Dakotas, Denes, whatever language it is try and preserve that. Well, Jason, you mentioned in your performance that a, a number of plans you have, including making musical instruments, uh, making the flute. What are your plans for the next you know, two or three years, if that's not too far a stretch? Well, for the next two or three years, um, I plan on making another recording. Uh, that should be before the summer's over. That, that, is, that is my most immediate goal right now, is to get a recording and also to um, get this um, knowledge of making flutes the right way, the proper way, going through the proper protocol and learning how to make these flutes. That's, those are my immediate goals. But for the next few years, I'd like to have more opportunities where um, I'm performing at bigger venues and also at venues that are on the other side of the world, all over the world. That is, that's my goal, and to try to get some international exposure in the next little while. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep on making my music, performing wherever I'm invited to perform.